Thanks for tuning in to my brand new Minecraft series. After a long hiatus, I'm ready to jump into more blocky action with 101 new ideas. Thanks for rocking with me all year long and enjoy the series. I can't stop thinking about these bees because now that I have three bees, I didn't think, where are they gonna live? They're gonna live in a hive. You can't get a hive unless you have silk touch. Silk touch to use on the beehive to then transport the bees that are in the beehive and then bring them to where you want them to go. So, the whole plan was shot. So, the fact that I have three bees doesn't matter. These bees matter, but they don't matter because they don't have anywhere to live and they apparently don't make a beehive on their own. So, yeah. Uh, the goal of this episode is going to be to get Silk Touch and try to get the hive over to here so I can actually make a area in which they can be contained and basically make a giant greenhouse is the idea. So I don't know what this thing to do in Minecraft is, but it's going to be figured out probably after the episode is done. So whatever the... The objective is, you see it, boom, done, okay? Cool, you're down for it, I'm down for it, whatever. Man, it took so long to get these bees, and now it just doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter, because you need the hive. And I took the lead, and I brought them all the way here. But you know what? That is life. That's how it goes. Sometimes you do something, and you don't think it through, and you're like, you know what, why did I do that? And you just gotta... You just, you, you know what you just got to do? Paul? Paul, you still here? Paul's, Paul's been very well behaved, man. Uh, you just got to meow it out. That's the definition of meow it out. Uh, let's see how much uh, this revives in terms of health or hunger. It does uh, not as much as I wanted to. Okay. Well, maybe uh, the bees will be more helpful in the future. If not, they're just cool. They uh, pollinate all sorts of flowers and stuff. It's pretty cool. Um, apparently it can fertilize the crops, which there is a small wait time or smaller wait time than it just growing naturally. So basically your crops can go faster. So that's cool. So let us now in three, two, one, make ourselves, I think we can swing the anvil now. Uh, let's see if I can do that. So I are, nope, here we go. Iron block, bam. And now... For the anvil, A-N. Nope, that's not it. A-N. Nope. V-I-L. What do I need? Oh, one more ingot. Hello. There we go. Done. Boom. Okay. Anvil, done. Nice. This is used to enchant items. So we can do that. All we need is a item of choice and lapis lazuli. So, it, that's not how you say it. It's lapis lazuli right here. So the diamond we're going to use, obviously, on a diamond pickaxe first and foremost because, well, that just makes the most gosh darn sense. So uh, this and uh, grass block I got from an enderman, by the way. Don't want you to think I'm cheating in that respect. I'm, I promise you it was via legitimate means. One of them dropped it, which obviously uh, endermen are one of the only things that can actually drop the individual block of something. So... If it did, in theory, grab a beehive, it could technically go and, uh, you know, have that for us. So that's how it can pick up a grass block and do it that way. It randomly grabs any block, so it doesn't really care which one it is. It's just a block in general. So, yeah. Uh, let me make a... Let, let me make, make it a... Ooh, spruce wood? Ooh, that's cool. So that's a spruce log. That's spruce wood? Ooh, that looks like it would be cool for, like, a floor. I never quite realized that, but okay. So, let's do this. Do a little bit of this action. And then, we can make all this stuff. So, diamond, uh, hoe, axe, shovel, sword. We're going to make a pickaxe, of course. The only thing that is use or the most useful thing from the very beginning here, I would say. So, so I have a bunch of these flowers here. Let's clean out the inventory just ever so slightly. Uh, this can go, all this stuff can go, that I need. This can go, basically all of the uh, types of food and flowers all can go inside of there. 
Um, yeah. Okay, so for this, I am at level 15. Now, it should be able to tell me uh, what I can have. That's a repair and name. Oh, the anvil just names stuff and repairs it. I need an enchantment table. How do I make it? Uh, okay. I'm so stu I'm so stupid. I'm so I'm such an idiot. I'm so, oh wow. Okay. We need we need books. Oh, I know what this episode is about. It's about enchanting and naming. Yep, I told you I'd be able to figure it out after uh after I I I said what I needed to say. I just want bees. I just want bees, people. I want bees. I want... Okay. okay. Oops. Let's go over here. Well, I forget. What, what do you make an enchantment table? E-N-C-H. Yeah, what's this? Two diamond, a book, a power of knowledge, an obsidian. So obsidian, we need to make an another portal anyway. So uh, we are one diamond short. So technically, we're on the same trajectory as before. Uh, we need paper in order to make a book and leather. Oh, we gotta kill some cows. Oh no. Oh no. How do I make paper? Oh, sugarcane. Great. Okay. So first step is to find sugarcane. Sugarcane is actually easy to find. Plot twist. It's right over here. So I haven't harvested this over. Wait, that's not it. Nope. That's, oh, this is it right here. Yep. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? I can't tell. I can't tell. It's not. Nope. That's the texture pack messing me up. Oh, boy. So sugar cane grows along the water. Kind of. Yeah, it definitely has to. So sugar cane, you need one, and it basically grows super fast, kind of like bamboo, but not really. Um, so this is just great. This is just a great situation. This whole thing. Oh, a zombie villager. Isn't that great? So, actually, what I need to do first, before I do anything else, is go over here and reset my spawn point. So, now what you can do is, with the new update, which I'm surprised it even took this long, if I'm being totally honest with you. You can set your spawn point to be a bed without needing to sleep in the bed. So, if I right-click on a bed, as you'll see right over here, boom. It just said, well, right here. So... Respawn point has already been set. So now the bed functions as a spawn point with the day and night cycle change, but you don't necessarily need to sleep in the bed in order to get it to respawn or get your spawn set. So there you go. We need to find sugarcane. Sugarcane is found along the water. Um, I'm assuming, you know what I might even just do? I might just go back to where I was before in that grassy area because that actually would be a decent spot to go and like find sugar cane and find all sorts of useful stuff it's pretty far away so i don't like it but that just might have to be what that, that just might have to be what happens unless i can think or do something else which i can't at the moment so um let me this guy this guy right here, man. Of course. There you go. One shot, you're done. And now I can't die. Because if I die, then I lose all that EXP. And I certainly do not want to do that. So, um, I'm going to go find sugar cane and kill some cows so I can get a book. And then we got to find more diamond. There's a lot that needs to get done. So, uh, let me go... Do what I need to do and figure it out from there. You good? Okay. Uh, bonus points for anyone who can actually find a villager that you can trade with. Because uh, that's actually a good way to find stuff that you can't get access to. That someone else just might have. Or you find stuff in chests and whatnot inside of their houses here. So uh, nothing will happen if you take stuff from within the villagers' homes here. Uh, they won't go after you. They're not going to get mad. Nothing like that. At least not that I know of or have seen. So basically anything inside of the villagers' homes is good for the picking as far as I know. Uh, there's another cat there. Hello, kitty cat. So this is a home in here. Uh, but yeah, if you can find villagers to trade with... That might be good. I have two emerald on me, so sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't. 
Um, wow, that's cool. Okay. So if I had 11 of the emerald and a book, then I could get the enchanted book for Luck of the Sea 1. What does this do? It's a podium of some kind? Okay, cool. So the podium I have no interest in. You could probably craft it somehow, but whatever. So I'm going to see if there's anyone around here, uh, anyone else I can trade with. Hi, Iron, Iron uh. Golem. Okay, so that's not a good deal. I'm looking for anyone who can give me paper. But now that I'm actually in a standard biome of some kind, you know, typical green biome, I can probably find uh, those pretty easily. Just want to make sure there. Okay, cool. So, yeah, I don't think there... Oh, this is kind of interesting. There's a snow hut in the grass. Oh, that's a bucket of cod? Actually, if I could trade that, I would. That'd be pretty cool. So I could have a, a whole big old bucket of cod. That's pretty sweet. What is this? I don't really know what that is. Whatever. Uh, yep, don't know what that is. Cool. Uh, let me investigate in here. There's a beetroot soup. Cool. Not that I need any of that because I already have beets over there. All right. So let's see you. Uh, you can give me a rabbit stew. That's inhumane. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, cool. You have a little hut or you know area for the cow here that's pretty sweet and in here you sir yeah you're the bucket of cod guy all right cool so i'm still on the hunt for some sugar cane to transform into some uh, paper so there's a, another one of these things over here i don't feel like going after that because that's just a whole process so uh let me continue my search this is what sugar cane looks like at least in this texture pack here so it grows directly next to water. It can't grow otherwise, and it grows incredibly quickly. So we only really need one, but the fact that we have eight is pretty good. So uh, we are super close by where the beehives were before. So we're basically going to make a small uh, area of operation over toward where the bees were, and that looks like an enderman is going to super die super hard, super quick. So that's cool. So that way, whenever we get Silk Touch with the enchantment table, we can get rid of the enchantment table. And I have the uh, diamond pickaxe on me, which is good. So it's just a matter of uh, finding that stuff and sticking to it here. So I did already start kind of an area down this way for, um, you know, digging downward. So that's good. Uh, might as well get rid of these guys, too. So... I don't know how confident I am in the ability to get Silk Touch. I believe those enchantments and whatnot are still kind of random in some cases. So we'll see how well this ends up going in general. And we can obviously re Excuse me. Really? Okay. Sure. Nice. Thanks, man. Cool. Uh, thank you for intruding on what I was saying. Uh, the Diamond Pickaxe obviously works very well. We can repair it if we need to, which we will for sure. Uh, I would prefer to never run out, honestly, but uh, we'll just see about that. Um, so, yeah, I, it's just a matter of finding more diamond and doing that whole thing. So I'm just going to skip to highlights here because I, I want to keep things at a good pace here. I don't want to waste your time too much with just digging randomly and whatnot. So, yeah, once I find something interesting, I'll let you know we'll be on the hunt. Oh, wow. Cool. All right. Well, that works. I was just, I literally was just randomly mining. Like, I was digging down and doing all sorts of stuff, and then I just came across this. So, that's uh, pretty convenient. Nice. All right. And obviously, ooh, we are right at the bedrock. That's cool. So, there shouldn't be any lava near here. I just want to make sure. So, cool. There's one. And we do have the inventory space dedicated to it already. Nice. That's four more. Beautiful. Okay. So, there's that. Um, we need obsidian, which involves lava. So we need to find some lava next up on the list here. So basically, we are at the very most bottom you can possibly be in Minecraft. There is no going lower than this. It is the equivalent of going to a Denny's at 9 p.m. on a Wednesday afternoon. Evening, evening. That's what I meant to say. That's what I want. Okay, cool. So let's stop here. Uh, real quick, uh, let us, we need water too, but I can make a bucket. So let's make one of these. I am totally just like, I'm forgetting about all these things that I need 
Because I think I have everything on me, but I definitely don't. So, okay. We have this, right? Okay, we can make a bucket. Bucket. Ooh, I can make a diamond helmet. That'd be pretty cool. What does a shield take? Oh, that's... I should make one of those. Let's just make that real quick. Okay, nope. I guess not. I guess I'm totally not. Um, Bucket, bucket, bucket. Bam. Bucket. Okay. Oh, there it is. Right there. Okay, nice. So, do this. That way it's on the side. Okay, so... With the, the trusty bucket here, uh, we can grab the lava, and that's all we need. So that is how you make obsidian. It needs to be lava directly onto a water block source, if that makes any sense. I'll show you in just a second here. So basically what you need to do is go and find like a, a, a block, like water. Go toward an ocean and spread the lava across that ocean there, and you'll be good. I'm just going to harvest this iron because, yeah, we're here. And I'm going to swap it out for that. Cool. So it needs to be direct contact. Otherwise, you're just going to be making a ton of cobblestone, which cobblestone is good only if you're in, like, skyblock survival, where you don't have any other resources to really work with. But in terms of regular Minecraft, you don't really need one because cobblestone is so uh, plentiful literally everywhere else so this is what i did uh, i was kind of just digging all through here and then bam there we go so now it's actually where it needs to be cool now i can get up this way okay do this and there we go so now it's nighttime officially and there are some water blocks nearby so that's good i'm going to eat up all the potatoes that i possibly can to make sure... Is that only a half? That's only a half. That's disgusting. Give me some carrots. Carrots work better. Carrots work a ton better. They do one and a half instead of just a standard half. That's a, a good note for you to make sure that you cook your potatoes before you actually eat them. Because otherwise, that would be very bad. So, spread it across there. And then that should be obsidian spawning all throughout... Nope, it's cobblestone. Okay, oops. Well... Uh... What did I mess up? Uh-oh. No. Stop it. Did that work? No? It didn't destroy you? Okay. You can have a, you know, hissy fit all you want. That's the word I was looking for. Uh, Does it need to be direct lava with direct water? Yeah. Yeah, that's how you do it. Okay. So I lied. Uh, I am so unfamiliar with Minecraft. I've been giving you wrong information this whole playthrough. I am so sorry. Okay, so I so this is basically what needs to happen. I need to go back down where I was before and try to find a way to get everything that I possibly need. Get these heathens away from me. Get everyone away from me, please. Stay away. Stay away. Please go. Go. There we go. Okay. I need to grab this. Thank you. That's literally all I need. That is literally actually all I need. Excuse me. Get away. Cool. And they can come on land, but that's fine. White wool, get out of here. I don't need that. I need this. I need this. I need this. And we're good, right? Yes, we are. Cool. I'm going to head back down there and get me some uh, some stuff. Some of that uh, obsidian. And hopefully give you the correct information this time. Grab that. Okay. Okay. Why did that not work before? So you see what's happening right here, right? So if I grab the lava through here, right? Grab that. And I toss it right here. It'll work. But otherwise, it won't work. I don't really know. I don't really have a good grasp on how any of this situation actually works. It's a mystery to me. It might be a mystery to you. Although you probably play more Minecraft than I ever have and might do. Okay, so there's that. Yeah, I don't, like, so the lava bucket itself, the lava block, quote unquote, acts as the source. So me placing but I placed it in 
like on top of the water and it didn't work. But right there it works. Hey, 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 man. Hey, man, you know, man, I just uh, I just work here. So I'm going to harvest all the obsidian I need in order to actually get the portal as well as the enchantment table. So that would require ooh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like 15 ish. 15 or 20 obsidian blocks which you know if you are harvesting with a, a diamond pickaxe here you should have no problem at all with any of that you should be totally fine and you know because it doesn't matter how much of um like you use the pickaxe there it doesn't count like because obsidian takes longer to actually harvest it doesn't matter. It only counts for, like, one block. So don't worry about, like, you know, oh, this actually takes up a lot of space. I can't actually, you know, utilize this or do this. Like, that's, you know, don't don't worry about that aspect of it. Okay, so if I do this, right, grab this. No, really? Okay, sure. What if I grab that? There we go. That's what I'm looking to do. And do that. Cool. How many do I have? Eight. Okay. So just a few more here. So... Otherwise, in terms of what's going on in my life, uh, nothing really. I, I don't think right now. Uh, I'm finally over that cold, I think. You know, I can actually talk in sentences without needing to ha reach for a cough drop or anything like that. So I think I have lucked out in that sense. So that's good. Um, everyone has had it for quite some time. And I had it uh, last night as well. So it, it was still, it was a lingering then. But now it's definitely gone. I just don't want to go too crazy with uh, my voice and whatnot. Um, there's a lot of, like, holiday parties and stuff actually happening. So uh, that's uh, the whole season has been for that in general. I'm going to put this down here. How about that? And can I not grab this? Hello? Really? Excuse me. Can I not? There we go. Okay. Th that's not what I wanted. Cool. Okay. We'll try this again. There we go. Oh, well, that kind of worked. Uh, cool. Can I just, uh, oh, hi. Oh, hi. Cool. Let's grab this, and right there, that's what I'm looking to do. Cool. And although you can't really see it that well, that definitely is obsidian, so I might as well grab that there. Lots of holiday parties like Yankee Swaps and whatnot coming up, which are always interesting in general uh, I am not as big of a, a fan of the Yankee swap uh, only because it's a bunch of stuff I normally don't really want and I mean it's a it's a cool idea but someone always gets like totally messed up you know one person always like gets the 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 wrong end of the deal and it's always kind of disappointing at least for the one person but it's actually better than Secret Santa I've had not good experiences with Secret Santa in the past couple of years, which is actually why me and all my friends are switching to a Yankee Swap. None of us are technically buying gifts for each other or anything like that. It's all just uh, typical uh, uh, Yankee Swap things. So, cool. And then that worked right there. See, I don't understand, like, the logic here with these blocks, dude. But whatever. Wait, don't go there. Yeah, I could have fallen in lava right there. That could have been really bad, actually. Okay. We'll do that. Okay. I'm going to try to get and sneak around. Really? Okay, sure. It's just everywhere I go, every single step is lava everywhere. Okay, do that. Good. Get it away. Do this. Do that. Bam. There we go. That's what I'm looking to do. That should be lava. Yes, it is. Okay. Okay. I'm safe. Don't worry. I'm safe. I'm fine. I should have some sort of, uh, you know, an idea of what I want to do here, but no. Uh, okay. Do that. Then bam. There we go. So three, six, ten. I'm trying to think of how many. No, it's it's three on each. No, I'm I'm thinking the portal is bigger than it actually is. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then fourteen. So we have enough. Okay, we're good. So, the enchantment table we can transport. I'm not too worried about that. I just need to get back to the surface, and we should have enough to make a uh, few pieces of paper as well. So, we are pretty much uh, ready to go, other than a book. 
So we got to find some cow in the area and uh, have a little uh, sit down conversation with them. And uh, hopefully they can uh, come to terms in terms of uh, their annihilation in order to provide uh, the meats, as it were. So let's uh, head back up here. It is daytime. Cool. So daytime means that there will be animals up and about. Not that there wouldn't be otherwise, but in this case, yes, there will. The cows will be paresente. And we have water. So that's good. Unfortunately, the water does not alleviate your hunger in any way, which makes sense. Oh, there's illagers. Guess what I don't want to deal with? Them. All right. Let's do this. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. There we go. There's some leather. Nice. Okay, so that's one. Actually, that's uh, that. I think that's everything we need. Maybe. So let's see. Uh, first, we got to make a book. Book or paper first. There we go. It's a paper and then... Uh, where is the book? Am I blind as a bat? I just might be B. There we go. Boom. What a, wait, I'm missing... Oh, three paper? Hello? We have... S Did I drop the leather? Did I not grab it? Hello? Where is the leather? The leather was right here, was it not? Did I drop it by accident? I don't know. I need to clear out my inventory, too. Let's get some garbage out of here. Get this garbage out of here. Uh, the leads I don't really need anymore. The iron helmet, I can swap for that. Whatever, that's fine. Drop that. Paper, I don't need... Okay, cool. So, let me grab this stuff. I kind of just want to defeat these guys just to get them out of the way. But I also don't want to deal with them. Okay. Do I really not... Oh, I made... I used it... No. Wait, hold on. I did the book. Now I need to do the table, right? The table is all that's left. Oh, there's the leather. Duh, I'm an idiot. Okay, why did it... Ah! You're making me... You're making me, like, think that I'm doing something wrong when I'm not. Okay? The leather's right there. Give me the book. Book. Thank you, book. Good. Enchantment table. Bam. There we go. Okay, cool. Bam. Nice. Lazuli. This. Okay. Uh, enchantment efficiency, unbreaking efficiency. Ah. Uh. So I don't know how to change, like, silk touch and do all that. I, ga I gotta look this up real quick. Hold on. So basically what I can gather, and I knew this, I just, I, so you need to get silk touch. To get silk touch, you need to have a full library around the enchantment table. I knew that. I knew that, but I didn't anticipate how much work it would be to just get a beehive, dude. I just want the bee... And I could cheat. I could totally cheat. I'm not going to do that. Because all these are unbreaking and efficiency. And it's just not... It's not going to work. And in order to get all of the uh, books, you need to have a ton of leather, which requires a ton of cow, which requires having level 30, which we do don't and it's just a whole whole thing it's just a thing and i'm like dude just give me the hive give me the hive give me you they're all gonna die anyways because they stung me i'm sorry bees i'm sorry but at least i have three bees so i'm basically i mean we did our objective we got the enchantment table i enchanted the pickaxe i can take this anywhere i want to it's mine right we got more diamond we got the ender pearl we got a saddle we got some sugar cane we got all sorts of cool stuff so it's not a total loss it's not a total sham it's just like uh you know it's like uh so i'm gonna go back home and there's still two beehives here. When the time... We're getting a horse. <laughs> We're getting a horse. <laughs> We're getting a horse. We got a saddle. All right, cool. So, to get a horse, you got to uh, tame it. Which you can tame it via uh, uh, using the carrots. Right? No, you need apples. You need apples. Okay, wait. Okay, that's not going to work. You need apples. So, uh, what I'm going to do... Because you can't tame them like that, right? 
Now the lead. Can I use a lead on him? Uh, yes, I can drag the horse toward me. Hi, horse. I'm Brian. Nice to meet you. So I'm going to try to find an apple or apples, plural, because he definitely does not take zombie meat. He definitely does not take potatoes, but he definitely... Wait, what? Oh, no, wait. We don't need apples. We're good. Oh, we're good. We got him. That's it, right? We're done? Cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Nice. And there we go. I spent 50 minutes recording this episode, getting aggravated that we didn't have any bees. But now by the end of it, we have a horse. We have a horse, ladies and gentlemen. You know what that was? That was easy. I want to thank you guys and girls for listening, watching, tuning in, and meowing it out with me as always. My name has been Brian Saviano, a.k.a. Finally has a horse, O'Brien. I'll, I'll see you again next time for more Minecraft. I am officially going to get out of here because now that we have a horse, we can move across the landscape a whole lot quicker, and that is definitely important to me. So uh, I'm going to head back over this way and head home. I'll see you lovely people of the Internet again next time for more Minecraft on the fancy schmancy. That's thunder, lightning, and the thunder PC. Later. Peace out. Bye.